on this kind of lavender to darker purple smoked out eye. I think this is great for a day look. Um, I, you know, this would be great for going to work or going back to school. I do plan on doing a couple back to school looks very soon here. Um, but this look in particular uh, was inspired by this little duo right here. It's from Bare Minerals. Uh, this is called the Showstopper. And this, the two colors in here are Bravo, which is the light lilac kind of lavender color, and then Encore is the darker purple. I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. I'll just swatch them super quick. So they are right here. This is also, this is a swatch I did earlier of this NYX Jumbo Pen, which I use as the base. Um, but I just think these are so pretty, and this smoky eye was super simple to do. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching and we'll dive right in. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay uh, Original Primer. Here I'm just going in with this jumbo eye pencil from NYX. It's in the shade Lavender. Um, I, I forgot to press record, so I already have some of it on my eyelids. And here I'm just blending it out with my fingertips and just adding a little bit more. So this is just going to add a nice base. It's kind of a shimmery color and it's kind of purple, which is kind of perfect. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Duo. This is in the shade Showstopper. In the first single shade in this duo I'm going to use is called Bravo and it is the lighter kind of periwinkle shade. So here I'm just going to pack this on to the inner two-thirds of my eyelid just to get a good nice light color all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with the second shade, the darker shade in the duo, and that is called Encore. So here I'm just going to pack this on the outer corners and then eventually bring it up and blend it into the crease area with this denser brush. So this is really going to add some dimension and just kind of carve out my crease or kind of lack thereof. That's why I love adding a darker color in my crease. I'm now going to go on with a fluffier brush and use this color here from Coastal Scents called Orchid. And just use this to blend out that darker purple. And this is just going to be used as a transition color just to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go back and just kind of smoke out the lower lash line a little bit with this narrow, dense brush, just using that dark purple. And then on the inner part of my eye, I'm going to be using that lighter periwinkle, Bravo, just to, you know, lighten up the inner corner and just add a little bit of brightness. And after this, I'm just going to go back in with the dark purple and add a little bit more of it just to make sure that that is nice and carved out. You can always go in with a darker purple if you have it and make it even deeper if you want. Just since this was a day look, I decided not to do that. But if I was doing this for the nighttime, I definitely would even pack in a little bit of black, blend that in there just to make it super deep. So here I'm just lining my eyes with my favorite eyeliner, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in Black. Love it. We'll never stop using it, ever. And then next, I'm going to go into my waterline with this eye pencil. Uh, this is just a waterproof, waterproof eyeliner from Anastasia. I think I just got it in a kit, so I'm not really sure what the name is. And here I am attempting to uh, tight line without actually using my hand to lift up my eyelid like I usually do. Oh my gosh, definitely poked myself in the eye like five times while doing that. Oh. Anyways, I'm going to move on to my lashes, curl them, put a little bit of mascara on that, and then I'm going to go in, oh, excuse me, I was dancing to my music. I'm going to go on with some lashes in just a second. Um, here I'm just using just the Buxom Full Lash Mascara. You can really use anything. It doesn't really matter what kind of mascara you use if you're putting lashes on. At least to me, I don't really care. As long as it makes them super black and, you know, nice so that they blend in with the lashes. And once I'm done with the mascara, I'm going to throw on some lashes from House of Lashes. They are the feline lashes. Um, and then I'm just going to touch up really quick because throwing on some lashes does change the shape of your eyes. So it's good just to touch up and adjust that. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like it, subscribe. Also check out my Instagram. I'm a lot more active on there. I post every day, if not more. And um, let me know if there's anything you want me to do. Any suggestions at all? I'm taking suggestions. I, you know, I'm here to please. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.